But first tonight, he lost his home to a sinkhole. Now he's asking for the city to have a change of heart ahead of the holidays. Let's go to WMAR 2 News Kendall Green, who spoke with a homeowner, Quinton Bell, and the impact one decision by the city is having on his family in what's normally their favorite time of year. North Avenue's reopening after construction wraps represents progress in what's been a long four months for homeowners and drivers there. First of all, I want to thank the community for their patience. In July, a massive sinkhole destroyed several homes along North Avenue, causing the city to condemn the entire block, displacing eight families. What had happened was a critical failure of a 115 year old storm drain tunnel that was beneath the sinkhole. The Ruth Vignaraja, representing Quentin Bell, a husband, a father of a third and ninth grader, and the owner of one of those homes, calling for a reversal of a decision made by the city weeks ago. Bell and some of his neighbors applied for assistance from the city that would ultimately cover their losses after the sinkhole formed. That claim was denied by not only the city, but Bell's insurance company as a result of claims made by the city. The city claimed they were not notified about the decades old storm drain that caused the sinkhole. Of course you're on notice for a 115 year pipe that you are responsible for maintaining. The Department of Public Works is responsible for the public works in our city. I, I couldn't believe it because I'm like, well, I'm stuck to where, who do I go to now? Bell's councilman Robert Stokes on the matter. That's in litigation. That's between their lawyer and the law department. I don't co comment on litigation things, so that's something you have to take up with the law department because I'm not privy to that information. Bell and his attorney estimate the cost of recouping all eight families of their mortgages would be at most a couple of million dollars. Nobody expects this. Nobody expects the floor beneath your home to collapse and for your uh, your, your housing to be turned into a pile of rocks. They're entitled to be made whole. They're entitled to be put back in the place they were before this catastrophe happened. In Baltimore, Kendall Green, WMAR 2 News. All right.